everybody, I'm Susan from Senior Style. Hope everyone's having a great day. Coming to you today from BC, Canada. Guess what? It's raining. All right, so I thought I would uh, put together a Park Pal video, how they work and little history behind the Park Pals for Disney. Um, I had a couple of questions from some of my subscribers about what they are, what they do, why should you have one, what's the sense of it, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get into the video. And if you have time, Please subscribe to my channel because once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a brand new Disney mini backpack lounge fly. So you definitely want to ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload videos. Like, subscribe, share, comment. That would be greatly appreciated and a thumbs up is even better. So let's go ahead and get into Park Pals. All right, so Park Pals come in a, a bunch of uh, different kinds and basically Park Pals preceded uh, Numos. All right, so Park Pals come, like I said, they come in a variety of uh, shapes and characters and that type of thing. They run about $11.99 each US without tax and for example they come in packaging like this for Baby Yoda. That's just one that I have. I have Figment. I have Winnie the Pooh, the glare is, kind of get an idea. I have Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. I have Mickey. And they also have a new 50th anniversary Park Pal with just Mickey. And there's Minnie. So I'm hopeful that they may come out with a mini 50th anniversary to match Mickey. So we'll see if that happens. But for the time being, they do have Mickey. All right, so this is how I store them. I have a little Dollarama little basket and they fit in there pretty good and then what I do is each one that I use I un unbox uh, it and then I put them either on my bags or I put them on like a visor and they stay on fairly good um, and what I was saying before, basically, these are designed to be your friend or pal, as in park pal, to go on your Disney park bag when you're at the parks. However, you know, you can use them anywhere. They're, they're pretty cool. Um, I would suggest if you're going to put them on a bag, to put them on the... Uh, like the loop or the D-ring on the outside of your bag so they're not rubbing against anything because they can fall off fairly easy. On a hat, you, for example, you just squeeze them right there. They have little grips. There we go. You have to kind of do it inside their body, basically. And see, anywhere that they can hang on to, 
you can put a park pal. So that's like on a hat. But see, you want to, they're like medium part of their body is where they open up. All right. So for example, if you have a pen, here's Sleeping Beauty. See, they can grab onto a pen. And this is the uh, ghost from Haunted Mansion. All right, you can stick them on your bag. This is a Lounge Fly Melissa scent. And I would suggest putting them on the outside of your bags so it doesn't rub and doesn't have a tendency to fall off. And you can kind of watch it because I did have, uh, this did fall off my Haunted Mansion satchel, my, my Dooney Disney. And I was able to find it, so, but, I mean, they're not a lot of money, but you definitely don't want to be losing your Park Pals if you, if you like them. Not everybody likes them. A lot of people think they're a waste of money, but this is just an added decoration to your Disney um, backpacks or purses or visors or hats, pencils, pens. Like I said, anything that you could attach the little hands to will definitely work. So that's just another example. Um, here's one of, from my Pixar lounge fly crossbody. And if you were to wear it like this, there's a D ring like on the outside, basically. So you just clip it on. And then see, he just kind of hangs out on your bag or whatever you have there. All right, so I hope this was helpful. It explains a lot about the Park Pals, which are pretty cool. Um, these are different, obviously, than the Nemo's, but, um, you know, it is a bag charm, basically a little friend, a pal, to take with you, I guess, so you're not lonely in the parks. And they also come with these really cool stands. It says Park Pal. It has a little castle. And then you can put these in your office. You can display them in your house, whatever. If you have a Disney room, that'd be cool. And then they just snap on like that. And then they have their own little stand. Hi. Would you like to be my friend? <laughs> so they are pretty cool. Um, I do give them as gifts. Um, and everyone that I, I have gave them to really like them. And it's affordable gift from Disney. And it's something that they probably will use or they, like I said, they, they don't have to put it on anything. They can just, they come with their own display. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Explains a lot about the Park Pals. Until next time, thanks for watching. Susan from Senior Style, from a senior point of view. Have a great day, guys, and thanks again for watching. Bye now.